Okay, so researchers play this game. The law uses certain words. We don't know that law yet. So we have to kind of guess what those who create the law you know, what words they're going to use to write that law. And so um, we can kind of do our best to guess and then we try, 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 and then we eventually land on something. So one, one trick is to think of synonyms of words and, and use those for search terms. So instead of just drunk or intoxicated or under the influence, you would try all three. So if you think of intoxicated, then push yourself a little bit and persist in, in the thinking there. And you could come up, you know, with drunk or intoxicated or under the influence. Driving could be operating or driving could be controlling the vehicle. I, um, I can't think of any for transmission or in neutral, um, you know, sleep could be like, you know, unconscious or something like that. You know, so when you're looking for something similar, you could look for for things like that. So anyway, it's fun to play this game of what law they're going to use. You can use words and phrases. Uh, it's a it's a resource on Westlaw and Lexis. It's like a legal thesaurus. Just just type in words and phrases, and it will come up. You could use an actual civil thesaurus. You could um, also just Google the terms and, and find, you know, lingo that other people are using. So there's, there's a lot of different ways. I also like to use the index of any legal resource. I just read the index and I'll find different words in there that relate to the topic I'm looking for. So anyway, use synonyms and push yourself to find more. And then, by the way, as you're researching and reading case law, you'll see what words they use. Write them here because you can use those words in your reasoning when you're writing your, your letter to the client or the memo or a brief or whatever. Okay, see you back in the workbook.